Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interestinglife.com. Once again I am joined by Sarah. Hi. And today we are talking about a rather epic little trip we did. So this is Rodney's pillar as you can see, proudly sat on top of the hill there. And really, this is one of the only hills around for, well, one of the only proper big hills around in the Shropshire Plains for a good distance, which when we get to the top, you'll see. Anyway, I'm going to throw Sarah in at the deep end and just say, tell us about it. It, it was a good day for it. It wasn't too hot. Yeah. It was a nice bit of a breeze. Yeah. So, and it, it was a lot higher than I thought it was going to be. Indeed. I d And a lot longer than you told me it would be. Well. <laughs> yeah. There was a, a slight miscalculation on my part, unfortunately. It was good, though. Yeah. The, the, well, like you say, the weather was absolutely perfect for it. A little bit of a breeze, but plenty of perfect blue skies and sun and all the rest of it. So the ideal mix of everything. Just want to also say at this point, don't worry, when we get to the top of the hill, I've got just literally a one minute long slow pan around of the scenery. So I noted that was what somebody was requesting in one of the other videos. The previous Dan and Sarah adventure, I believe. Mm. Anyway, come on. It's up to you to like fill this space. Uh, but, um, <laughs> yeah, it's good. Go and do it. <laughs> yeah, <to> go and <laughs> do it. That's, that's for this international audience. Everybody out there. If you ever do happen to be passing through shops, you're on your daily commute to work. <laughs> no, if you've got a couple of hours, then it's, it's worth it. Yeah. No, it's a good walk. It certainly is. And I think this time of year as well, you can see the bluebells out. And Oh yeah, I just threw this clip in here. I know this is totally random, but you can see this was earlier on in the morning before we headed out there. I was down at the lock and did about two, three hours of boating. And that right there in the centre of the screen is where we actually are heading to right now up the hill so i just wanted to throw this in just for context of how far you can see it for miles around and speaking of seeing things for miles around this is the place that i once upon a time fetched the telescope up and pointed it back into my hometown Oswestry or our hometown Oswestry i suppose so i'm not doing this alone <laughs> even though i'm the only one talking um and i literally could see all the houses and pick out different places and saw my mum's house and could see her literally walking in front of the house and that for about nine miles away through the telescope. That's so, a bit creepy. Yeah, well... It's, but good. Yeah. But creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it's also, obviously, on that theory, I've had the telescope in the house looking up, and you can see paragliders and people there, which, amazingly... There was one up there, wasn't there, when we were coming Yeah, there? literally, while we were up there, a chap just turned up with... A massive parafoil and started flying around and not surprisingly he did beat us down you did yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> i love these random pauses in this audio recording where everybody must assume that the video stopped playing or something I'm but sorry. Well, that's not your fault. It, it's entirely my you lack You like of to talk, so I'll let you get on with it. Any planning, but you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> if you haven't gathered that already, <laughs> I do like to talk. Um, this is the slow pan, as, I, as promised. But something that I'll just point out here, again, is just how flat Shropshire is. You can see, well, literally, just for miles and miles right off to the horizon there. And apart from this little cluster of hills... You're really looking to... You feel, like you, can, you feel like you can see everything. Yeah, so really, it is just, well, a great place to be. As you can see, on a day like this, you can't ask for much more. So then, Sarah, I better give you three seconds to say something else. It was it was very worth it. I'm glad we didn't go up when it was wet. Yeah, oh, I, definitely. I would have slipped a few times. Uh, well, you did have one uh, moment. Oh, yeah, but... <laughs> oh, obviously, we're not talking about that, folks. No, we'll forget that. But this was the route down that we took, just cutting straight down, following a little stream and then through all the actual trees rather than on the proper uh, stone path. And you can see this with the sun streaming through. Again, how perfect is this sort of environment to spend any time at all? Right, on that note, I'll say thanks for watching. Check out my other videos for loads of outdoors and boaty stuff. Uh, check the links in the description for books and goodness knows what else. I suppose until the next time, keep it boot worthy, keep it boat worthy, and farewell.